Asheville has always had a special place uh, in our hearts. We had our engagement photos there. We had our mini moon there. And when Sue had a photo shoot, you did a giveaway photo shoot, we knew the one place we wanted to go. We wanted to go back to Max Patch, back to Asheville. So for this trip, Sue found this tiny home that we were, you tell the story. Well, I just love looking at Airbnb during my lunch break. I'm always on Airbnb looking at different houses and different places we go, kind of like dreaming of trips that we could take. And I have like a list for different cities and this tiny house was on my list for Asheville. I just thought it was so cute. We'd never stayed at a tiny house before. So we kind of pulled the trigger on this one. You ready to go on an adventure? When you first walk in, the first thing you see is the bed and the three big windows in the back. Yeah. These windows provide a lot of natural light and they really mm -hmm. showcase the space. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, the windows were probably my favorite part of the tiny house because they're kind of tucked back into the trees. So you don't, it's like you're in nature. You don't really know that you're in a neighborhood. It feels like you're out in the woods because the windows are kind of tucked back into trees and it's Super peaceful. You can hear the birds chirping. Yeah. Tiny houses have the bare necessity to them, mm -hmm. right? You got the bed, you got the sink, place to make coffee, and then the bathroom shower. Yeah, it's perfect for someone like me. I don't really love clutter. So it has like every single thing you need. There's not too much of anything. Minimalist dream. And it was just like very aesthetically pleasing. There was a compost toilet, which I never used before. It was a new experience. Went really well. Worked. You're We're still right. here. <laughs> I don't know how to how to talk about the toilets. I just nicely. did. I did a good job. You did. You did a great job. Asheville is a beer city. The city boasts more breweries per capita than any U.S. city, and you can roughly try about a hundred local beers in Asheville. So we met up with some old friends who wanted to run us by their favorite spot in Asheville, mm -hmm. the Well Played Board Game Cafe. Here at Well Played, you can rent board games, blockbuster style, and you can either enjoy it out in the patio like we did, or you can take it home and return it. Mm -hmm. And they have drinks, but you can have them. And it's not Asheville without drinks. No. When? Oh yeah, that, 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 that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. It. <laughs> yeah, we ain't how winning. many? Ooh. How many? Um, that's globy. That one's globy. I don't know. I would. That one's globy. I would say this feels the most globy. <laughs> So, White Duck Taco. There's several different locations, but the one that we always go to is the one by the river. I think it's on Riverside Street, actually. Um, and it has some great outdoor seating, especially during COVID. Um, they only allow outdoor seating, but there's tons of it. So definitely go, there's gonna be a line, wait in the line. It goes by super fast. Um, get a drink, get two or three tacos. Two is good for one person. But get three. To share. No, for yourself. And call it a day. It's my favorite spot. The next place you must go is one of the reasons we always continue to go back to Asheville. The sauna house. Oh. Yes. Okay. Go for it, babe. My first experience with Sauna House was at my bachelorette party. I never really thought that I would love going to a sauna, but the aesthetic of this place is so peaceful. It's got like a spa atmosphere. 
but it's very minimal and clean. It's like white with lots of plants. Mm. I love saunas. There are three different types of saunas. The first one is just like a regular sauna that you would go to normally. You have your cedar wood sauna, which is more of a dry heat. You can stay in there for longer. It's so nice. They have like this window that looks at some plants. It's very relaxing in there. And then they have an infrared sauna, which is supposed to do also all kinds of great things for your body. But the kicker about this place is the methodology about how you're go supposed to go through the place. Mm -hmm. So what you're supposed to do is you're gonna go in the sauna for 20 minutes. The hot, hot sauna, the usually hot. first. And then, Take a shower, rinse all the sweat off, and then you go to a cold plunge. Oh yeah. And you're supposed to stay in there for like three minutes. If I get a minute, I did a good job. Yeah. It is freezing cold. But each time you can spend longer, like you find that you can handle longer and it's supposed to do all these great things for your body. You can usually go three cycles yeah. before you're like tapped out. But my favorite, my personal favorite part is the heated furniture. Because after your cold plunge, you hydrate, get like a CBD drink or something, and then sit on the heated furniture. That's my favorite. Because you're not supposed to do the cold, the heat and then cold plunge and then heat again. You're supposed to relax. Yeah, you gotta hydrate. Hydrate, let your body recuperate, and then do it all again. Mm -hmm. We always leave that place feeling super relaxed. And healthy. We go every <laughs> single time we go to Asheville. It's that good. Yeah. With Asheville tucked in the Blue Ridge Mountains, the outdoor activities there are almost endless. There's hikes upon hikes upon waterfalls upon more hikes to do. But for our photo shoots that we've done there, the ease of access and the location which is perfect is the reason we go to Max Patch. Max Patch is a bald mountain on the North Carolina and Tennessee border. With an easy 30 minute drive up a dirt road and a quick hike to the top of the mountain, Max Badge is ideal for photo shoots. Well, we first had our engagement pictures in Max Patch, and I remember the first time I saw it, even though there were so many like campers there, like you go up and there's tents everywhere. You, there's certain spots that you can go that just feel so peaceful, so serene. You wouldn't know that anyone else is there. There's so much open space and you can see the mountains in the distance. And to me, it's just super peaceful. The tiny home was a perfect place to call home while we gallivanted through Asheville. I think I'd give this Airbnb five stars. Oh, I did give it five stars. Oh, okay. Well, that's I shared this Airbnb in my stories for, on Instagram, and I had so many people be like, where is this place? I want to go. It looks so peaceful. So if you do go to Asheville for a weekend, I highly suggest this tiny home. Um, it just had everything that we needed. It was a perfect spot. Yeah.